So let's see if my dad's prognosis was right. So he said that the uh, auxiliary water pump wasn't working. So we're gonna use my handy dandy power probe three. This is my tool, by the way. It's not my tool, it's the multimeter. Uh, I don't care about that. So this is my, my tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one prong. We're gonna put it, we're gonna attach it to this cable output right here. Make sure I don't touch it. So like, all right. Oh. So now I'm gonna put it on. And I'm gonna test it. So we got that beep in. So that's what the working one sounded like. It sounded like a fan whirring. And this is what the old one sounds like. This is the one that was in the car. I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't have sparks. Make sure it's attached correctly. Now, you guys can't hear it. I mean, I can hear it, but it's, it's kind of working, but it's not as loud as the new one is. So I guess my, in the end, my dad's prognosis was right. So in order, because this is too loud because of the beeping, we're gonna use another machine, which has a ton of ways to test, but mainly we're looking at these. All right, so this is a contraption that my dad uses to test uh, uh, machines in order to see if they're working oper if they're operating correctly. So we have these two alligator clips here. We're gonna put them on. So let me just put this on here. Make sure that it's covered by the rubber so that they don't touch. Put the second one on. Okay. And this is, we have a uh, handy dandy switch right here. It's actually pretty cool. We're just gonna flick it on. That is what the working one sounds like. Uh, for some reason, it sounded like a zombie uh, at the end. I don't know why. I, I just thought of a zombie at the end, uh, like when he says "ah." <laughs> I don't know. But we're gonna put. We're gonna try the old one. Put it on. Make sure they don't don't touch using the rubber. Put the other one on. Make sure that one also doesn't touch. Three, three, two, one. Actually, I should hold it up. But that whirring you're hearing is the other machine. It's a bit loud too, but... Oh, never mind. It's just... So that's what the old one sounds like. So the whirring is less... Uh, it's less... How do I just... It's less powerful? I'm not sure. It's, um... I gotta think of a word. All right, so now we're gonna test the suction. And when you're testing a dry motor like this, you don't wanna test it for more than 30 seconds at a time uh, so that it doesn't overheat or, or burn. And when you do, uh, you wanna leave it for like a minute so that it doesn't overheat uh, before you do it next time. So we're gonna cover it with something to see if it changes the sound. And as you can see, you can hear the sound change. Uh, hey, Burton. So let's try it on this other, the, the old the old pump. And the old pump doesn't have as strong suction. So let me put this on. So the word I was looking for is that it doesn't suck as powerfully. So I'm gonna take this and take this. You can hear that the sound doesn't change at all. Which means that it doesn't have as powerful or it doesn't have any suction. So that means that we have to replace it with a new motor. And before I said that the reason, I, didn't, I don't think I said the reason that we were actually doing this, but the reason that we're doing this is because in the past there have been air bubbles and that has been causing uh, problems with the cooling system. So we have to replace the auxiliary wire pump in order to fix that. All right, so this is apparently actually a used uh, water heater pump instead of an aftermarket. Uh, this was around $25. Uh, the original one, uh, a new one, cost around $400 and aftermarket cost around $200. So $25 is probably a steal. Uh, in order to get to the water heater pump first, he has to, uh, he has to remove this, uh, ca uh, this cable right here. In order to remove this cable, he has to remove some screws that are holding it in. In order to get to these screws, he has to open up the uh, inverter. 
and we're also going to do a video on that so go check that out if you want to know more uh the reason that we're doing this is because my dad's had some problems with some bubbles in the uh heater core uh the heater the heater core is in this direction it you can see the hose that's leading up to it it's actually in the dashboard so uh, i can't show it another thing we want to do is replace the coolant control valve right here uh, this is the new part that we have it's completely original and in order to replace uh either the uh, coolant control valve or the uh water pump we have to drain the coolant and we're going to do our own dedicated video on it so go check that out if you want to know more we've done a lot of work on this car and we've replaced a lot of parts so for example we replaced the radiator the thermostat the electric uh, electrical water pump the catalytic converter the exhaust and some other parts uh, so, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do a video on that because I was in school. But if you have any questions about that, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll try to help you out as soon as we can. Um, and with that said, I'm Ayman and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at our videos on I and Ayman, especially the auto repair videos. And I'll see you next time. Signing out. Peace.